If you're looking to make a simple yet beautiful hairstyle for your kids, here is a video for you. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this adorable hairstyle from start to finish and I'll be showing you how to add accessories if you want to. Moving on, I started by prepping her hair by parting her hair into two right from the middle. So if you're interested in knowing the product that I'm using, stay with me. I'll be showing you everything as I proceed in this video. So another thing that I did was to um add a little bit of oil to the rubber band. That is very important. You want to add this oil so that it will keep the roots moisturized and it will also avoid the rubber band from pulling their edges. And it is important to adjust the rubber band so that it will not be too tight. Moving on, I added some strands of yarn into her hair because her hair is not as long or thick enough for the style that I was going for. So this is strictly optional. You can add or not if you want to. So for this side that I'll be doing, I started by adding only 10 strands of yarn for this side. I would show you more as I'll be proceeding so for this side i added 10 as i mentioned then i just had to braid it a little bit from the root then i continued twisting so it is not so long and it is not heavy for age it is quite appropriate for age so you can see as i'm doing if you cannot twist you can just braid it it will still come out as beautiful so when i got to the end i just tie it just to secure the ends if you're working with a natural hair, of course, this part wouldn't be necessary. Another thing you might want to consider is hair density. So if you're working with a thicker hair or maybe a longer one, you might want to part each side into three instead of into two that I'm doing. Because I'm avoiding any form of damage in her hair, I had to use the Totango brush to brush it out first before I'll go with the tiny toothbrush so for me to smooth it out. So you can see I'm just kind of repeating the same thing that I did in the first and I applied more jam into the tip of her hair because I wanted to blend in into the wool that I'll be using. Only this time, I used four strands of wool into this middle part because her hair is thicker and fuller in this uh, middle part, unlike the ones on the side where I used 10 strands. As you can see, we are halfway done and I will repeat the same process into the other part. So at this time, I'm almost done. Then I got uh, an extra strand of wool to tighten the ends because the one I had wasn't long enough. So you can always improvise if the one you have is not enough. So at this point, I added um, a little bit of accessories, the beads, because I want it to, I want the color to pop out. So you can see the extra strand of wool that I had was what I was using to just, you know, to just secure it. So it's not as important. If you have an extra strand of wool, you can always use an elastic band. Sorry, elastic band to secure the end. So I'll be showing you, if you don't know how, I will show you uh, just in about a few seconds now. So on this side too, I also had an extra uh, strand of wool. So I used that one to secure it again. So for on this next one now, I'll be showing you how to use an elastic band. So all you have to do is for you to insert your bits, then fold a little bit of hair and make sure to flip it to the other side so that it won't be visible. But then use uh, an elastic band to secure it down. So that's all you have to do. So this part is necessary if you're working with the natural hair. You know, you wouldn't be able to cut it off. So we are all done with the front side. And now we are going to the back side. Of course, I went in again with the detangle brush. I added a little bit jam. So for this side, I'll be using two type of comb. You can see I'm using the tiny tooth uh, comb after I've used the detangle brush before. I now use a smoother. I don't know what this kind of brushes are called, but that is what I used to smooth it out and it works pretty fine. So almost at the finish line, this is what her hair looks like. This is her natural hair. This is the length that she has. And this is what it looks like. It is so beautiful. It is cute. It is gorgeous. However, if you are a little bit dramatic like me, I will show you another thing that you can add to the back that will even take it to another step. But like this, it is gorgeous. Look at it. It is gorgeous. It is beautiful. It is, you know, everything it is giving. However, if you want to add a little bit of drama, this is where it goes. So what you have to do is just to braid the little uh, pony you have at the back, then secure it with the little bit of a band. Then you go in with the pony. So this is what we have. I have the one with the drawstring. I also have the one with the elastic band, just in case you've seen me use the other one. So this is how you install it and just hide the drawstring underneath and voila, here it goes. 
it's all done so here is it without the drama this is a natural hair and here is it with the drama so this is an attached ponytail and now we are done thank you very much for watching we'll see you in our next video bye bye